everybody! I am Ann Ginger. You might also know me as Alier of Weirest. It's an old, old name. Um, I beta tested for Bethesda way back in the day, so that's where I'm familiar from. Um, little known fact, my dad was Akatosh, so um, we knew some pretty cool people, or at least he did. Um, obviously, the internet had just like come out, so we were meeting people all across the country. He was friends with Raymond E. Feast, um, who wrote Crandor the Betrayal, um, and he was actually approached uh, about his Rift War series, and they requested that he write a book in tandem and sent him the script for Betrayal at Crandor along with it. So the book Crandor the Betrayal was written in tandem with Betrayal at Crandor the video game, and they were both released at the same time. It was kind of a social experiment. Um, they wanted to see how people would react to that sort of platform. There hasn't been anything quite like it since, although the Baldur's Gate books did come out and that sort of thing. So, let's check it out. I mean, years later, my dad obviously went out and got it. He was completely excited. We all were. Um, thought it was the coolest thing that his series had gotten picked up into a video game. Obviously, we were all gaming enthusiasts, so... Chapter 1, Into a Dark Night. Bloodsoak Rags collected the boy's feet. One by one he tended the wincing soldier's purple wounds. Stitch, salve, bandage did what little he could in the leaping golden halo of firelight. Fortunately for his roadside patient, he could do more than most. Fingers slick with alum ointment, he worked fervently to tie off a catgut cord, then brushed the injury with a light touch to, that to the untrained eye would seem only a friendly pat. Others would recognize a telltale hand gesture as a magical ward against an infection. Done no inside, wiping his hand on a rust-colored cloth, no guarantees though. The stitches may hold all the way to Lamut, then again push too hard and you could be bleeding like a stuck pig on midsummers. You did fine, Senior Lockley re replied, smiling approval for rolling down his sleeve. It'll scar, but it's good for a noble's reputation. Let's the kingdom folk know he isn't resting upon his laurels, and it impresses the ladies. I'll be sure to look you up in Tiburn if I ever need stitching up again. If I ever meet a guy with a cat gut stitch scar, I don't really know that I'd swoon. The boy accepted the compliment with a humble nod. While he packed away the rest of his med medical supplies, his thoughts focused instead on a third man who slumped in the shadows across from them. Good thing he knew somatic spells. Despite the manacles that bound the stranger's hand and the distance that separated them, the boy felt dre dreadfully exposed. His avenues of escape limited should Lockler's elven-looking prisoner decide to liberate himself. What did he do? Owen whispered, jerking his head towards the man. Gorath? Let's just say that he had the disadvantage of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, Lockler said cautiously. He snatched a greenish apple out of his knapsack, offering one to Owen. We have to take him to Crondor. Did he kill someone? Owen asked. No. He attacked you. The senior wiped apple juice from his mouth and shook his head. No. No, not exactly. Well, who cut you up then? Before Walt Locklear could re reply. Dun, 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 dun. Gorath leapt forward, his chains writhing between his wrists like metallic vipers. Get out from under foot, Owen. Assassin in the camp. Do not struggle so, Hasath. I wish to keep you alive, but be glad I do not. The goddess of death will show you greater mercy. There's really only one way to read these. It's with extra drama. Just layer, layer on the drama. Chapter 1 Into the Dark Night. So, um, it has a cool setup. Is it WASD or not? I'm trying to remember. I think it might be arrows, yeah. Um, there were a couple of fairly distinctive things about it. Um, Owen looked for supplies. He felt a little bit like a vulture, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. I think we lose Locklear in the city. I can't remember if we lose Owen or Locklear, and that's unfortunate because they take their supplies with them when they go. So um, you definitely want to stock up. First, a polygonal landscaping. They were trying out some new stuff with this. We're off the beaten path here because see how we made... Um, camp. Gorath seemed distant, even though the Morial warrior didn't appear grieved about killing the assassin that had followed them from the Northlands. His eyes had a baleful look at them that seemed something between hatred and rage. Several times he glanced back at the corpse that lay behind them in the dust, his thoughts unguessable from his expression. Do you wish to bury him? We could do that. It's not our way. I simply 
somewhat disturbed that he sh should come after me. He was a kinsman. There are other things that trouble me as well. Delkin's assistants are slow, but not altogether stupid. Unlike Hassef, and you'll only have my corpse, another like Hassef, and you'll only have my corpse dragged before your prince, Arutha. Sorry you didn't get off that easy. As long as you're under my command, you're forbidden to die, Moriel. I've gone too far and gone to far too much trouble to keep you alive to bury you now. It's time we took the chains off you. It'll be far easier for you to defend yourself if your hands are free to swing a sword again. You're not going to just set him free, are you? I thought you said he was your prisoner. He is my prisoner, Owen, but the circumstances are terribly complicated. Even if he should choose to sneak off, he'd be lucky to make it to the next town alive. This is the third such assassin we've run into since we left the Northlands. I have a feeling that more will be waiting for us. He'll be much safer with me and I with him. It's a boy it would be. If you were to whisper the wrong word in the wrong ear, he could easily be the death of us. Me? Who am I going to talk to? I'm not even heading in the same direction. Wouldn't be a matter of who you talk to, Owen. There will be ears listening for word of memorial traveling with the noble. Damnation. I should have thought about this when you entered camp. For the time being, you're my squire. Once you arrive safely at the palace, you'll be free to go your own way. But I have pressing business in Tiburn. This is not a subject of debate. We must go to Crondor. My mission is of critical importance, and I don't have the time to improvise an easy solution. The only other possible option would be to slit your throat and leave you dying. I have absolutely no desire to do that. Now let's get moving before Delkin's assassins catch our scent again. They'll likely come looking when Hasseth doesn't return from his mission. Well, that's exciting. So I am so glad you came along for the ride. Um, check out the channel. There's tons of stuff. Um, Easter eggs. Cool stuff that we found. Stuff that's always sale priced. Retro. New releases. Betas. Just everything is in there that's awesome about gaming. So... Thank you for checking out what to play next. Drop us a like and subscribe. And as always, much love.